Welcome to the Sims Three. I have no idea how I'm gonna make this entertaining at all. So, firstly, why the Sims Three? Well, we all have that one game that brings us joy in life, or that helped us for a lot when we were younger. So that's why. The Yeaters Deletus Challenge will have you. Delete stuff by wheel of chance on a spinning wheel while also sending your Sims lifespan to medium or free will. You're not allowed to control your Sims, they need to keep themselves alive while suffering the consequences of not having certain items. Now, most likely, some other people also thought of this before me. But I decided I'm, I want to do it as well, so why not? I've only played the base game before, so the, all this DLC is quite new to me. I don't know what it is. Whatever it lands on, we have to delete and see if our sim can survive without it. Our first item is going to be the sofa. I don't think it's gonna have much effect on it, but let's remove it, oh yeah, as you can see, so far, let's jump back into the game, and then take the sofa and delete it, I don't know what the oh, okay, so I'm seeing the future, I, I'm not gonna touch it, basically I decided to give him a job, because we need he needs an income and something to do eat you're gonna die you need to start cleaning the other plate as well well done he's gonna starve or he's gonna piss himself at work I got to admit surviving three days so far and he's alive what That scared the crap out of me. What ran and what is in my front porch? Can we catch what ran? Was it in wild horse probably? Okay, whatever there was is gone now. But what's this? Okay. Well, hello there. Zombies. Oh, yeah. Really? That's all? Well, this is a boring zombie apocalypse. Well, we sur survived our first zombie apocalypse. Ice cream isn't breakfast. But at least you're eating. I'll give you that much. Did he just leave it? Yep, that's gonna rot. Uh, you're gonna have to clean that up when you get home. Oh, the bills. Okay. I'm not gonna pay it. I'm sorry. That's something he is gonna have to pay. And if he's not gonna pay it, looks like I'm not the only one that's gonna take stuff from the house my guy he got a promotion this unstable trade might be interesting you're gonna clean up that ice cream or are you just gonna keep snuffing it well this is just a perfect leisure day it's r raining and everything it's not rain it's hail what a perfect day to for a pool party. He's actually doing a pretty good job. And something broke. Are you gonna repair it yourself or are you gonna call someone? Don't mop up clean. No, not clean repair. Here's the repo man. a fat guy. We had to pay the bills. Let's 
gonna go. What is he taking? Come on, just take your thing already. He took my chandelier. Really? Don't take the sink, take the broken shower. He's gonna take the mirror. Mirror. Is he gonna take one? He took one of the flamingos. How much more do you want? Stop cleaning, call a repairman or repair it yourself. Oh. <laughs> the sink, the shower. Get to work, mate. This is not good. Uh, this is a mess. At least you still have one sink. This is still fine. I thought it was broken. My guy, no matter how many times you clean that, it's not gonna work. Stinking real good. My guy, no matter how many times you brush your teeth, it's not gonna clean. Well, congratulations, Peter Culp. You survived a week. The only problem you have is hygiene. You stink. And you managed to also get a promotion somehow. I don't know how. But I don't think you're gonna have it for long. But have two broken appliances that you refuse to fix and the reaper man also came and took some of your stuff and it's gonna he's gonna come next time as well to take more because you're not paying your bills so congratulations you're making this 10 times harder harder on yourself 